Hi family, this is the luck mom here. Let me not place my name. I create awareness on what happens in the Middle East. Uh, it is our friend uh, who is in Lebanon and she's asking for our prayers. We just want to tell you that remember you are in our prayers and we pray that may God protect you. <coughs> She's saying, this is true, Mama. Leo tuliamua kuenda mountain. We were period. Gunshot daily. Pray for us. She's saying they were living in period. This is the one of the big towns in Lebanon. It's like a capital city. And uh, there were gunshots all over. So they moved to a different place at the mountain and now she's asking for prayers this uh comment just came as a result of one of the ladies who was saying it's a lie and i don't blame her maybe because she has not been informed uh when i i shared this a uh, video about the state or in lebanon yesterday some people in the comment section were saying that their bosses are telling them it is just a tension. This is just a mere tension. But we are not praying that anything bad happens to our people. We are praying that God cover you with the blood of Jesus. I know he can do it. God never disappoints. He can do it. He will protect you. And you will become a walking testimony. Just like the Lakma. Uh, so for those people who are in Lebanon, you don't have a SIM card of Lebanon, ask your boss to give you one. Communication is important at the moment. In case they leave you behind, you can follow them. Just follow them. When you see, if you see your boss is moving out with their family and leaving you behind and they will tell you that we are going maybe for a vacation because there are some mates who are used to be left behind. This is not the time to be left behind. Talk to your boss. If it has not become worse from your side and they want to relocate somewhere, do not remain behind. Do not remain behind. Just follow them. Go with them. If they, they can't allow you to follow them, maybe they're going to a different country where it needs a visa. They have those the visa of those countries, but you, you don't have one now. The, the only option is to leave you behind to wait for the war. You can tell them to take you back to your country. You have a voice at the moment. It doesn't happen that your relationship with your boss is going to be sour. But you also need to be safe. You are a human being. You also need to survive in a conducive environment. So I'm just telling those people in Lebanon, if you see your boss is leaving you behind, don't accept it. You just follow them. If they are going outside the country, it means they are going to the airport. That is where they, they also should leave you. You also board your flight back to your country. Because I just want to tell people like, don't wait. Don't wait for anything bad to happen to you. You also need to fight for yourself. Speak for yourself. Tell your boss, you are also a human being. You also need, you have people who are depending on you. Most of people who have gone to work in Gulf, they have many dependents behind. So if you feel the situation is not good on your side and you see your bosses are leaving, then you are comfortable, you have locked yourself in the, inside the house and you are saying there's nothing, there's nothing bad going on. My friend, I can't advise you to stay behind. Siyeziambia mtu wabaki nyuma, najua kuna bosses watambia watu, Nini baki tu tunaenda mahali maybe tunaenda kuona mgonjo hawawezi kukuambia ukweli ngo watakuwa nasema tu it is just normal tension the moment tunaenda kukuambia hivyo tayari wao wameshapata solution nataka kukuambia hivyo wakati wakati tulisaidika tukiwa pale Sudan wakati tulikutana sasa kwa center mali tulikuwa tutakuwa rescued Kenya tulikuwa nakuwa rescued watu walikuja na testimonies they were made <coughs> Simu zilisaidia wenye walikuwa na laini za Sudan. Simu ziliwasaidia mtu anapiga anasema watapeana emergency number. Watu wasikuwe na wasiwasi 
Mutapewa emergency number because naona watu wanasema oh Ruta hawezi saidia watu wa Lebanon nini nini Hiyo ni kazi ya president atawasaidia Diaspora affairs watasaidia watu tulisaidia wana watu wa diaspora affairs Watapeana namba but mimi wale kabla wajapeana namba uko na sim card uko na sim card yenye unaweza communicate because I'm going to read some comments of those people wametumia simu wakasaidika na wako Lebanon na tayari wameshafika nyumbani. So nataka kuambia watu ukwe informed. Don't trust your boss at the moment. Saizi boss sio wa kuaminika my sisters. So usione boss wako amekuambia it is only no more tension na uko hapo tu umezuba. Sikutasikia mali sasa zinapigwa kila kitu imeharibika ndio utakumbuka guy niko wapi? Tulelala kwa chini ya kitanda wiki mzima. For those people wenye walikuwa na to watch hata live shows tukitafuta msaada gunshots zilikuwa all over we spent under bed for a whole week Mimi nisikia mambo ya vita nasikia kutetemeka nasikia kutetemeka na najua kuna watu wanakaa na uoga nataka kuambia yes tuko kwa vita but remember tuko na Mungu mbinguni pia pia maombi yanasaidia I remember tulilia kila mtu aliambia Mungu Kenya alikuwa anataka. So tuombea hao wa wenzetu. So kwa wale wenye wanasema ni uongo ni uongo unaweza ona huyu mwenzetu amesema wenye walikuwa yekuwa kubaya wakahamia kuingine. So nataka kuambia tu boss wao wao wa considerate because waleza ku move na yeye. Wengine wali, wengine walikuwa wanaachwa kwa nyumba. Wengine Manyumba zilianguka wazika wafinyia hapo ndani. Wengine walishotiwa. So tujaribu kuambia watu wetu. Najua this is not the right time ya kusema oh kwa nini ulienda Lebanon, kwa nini ulifanya hivi? No. Hii ni mambo. Wao ikikuja haipigangi odi. But let's pray for our people.